Oh, look at that. Bearing collapse. Right, I need to get this to the workshop. And the wheel that I'm gonna take the motor in with to get the bearing placed is the V10F. Now you're thinking, what on earth? I've just done a video on the old 9 bot E Plus and talked about the VAF as a substitute for that wheel with more power, more range, etc. But they also still produce the V10 and they do the V10F, which I've done reviews on already about three or four years ago. But it turns out that it's an ultra good wheel in terms of an all-rounder. So it's not a huge, it's got no suspension, nothing like that at all. It's just a really good price point wheel Good bang for buck, shall we say. Uh, that's what you get in the V10F. And actually I thought, why not take one out of stock and ride it again four years later and see what I think. Uh, so this is a brand new V10F. We've got fresh batches in. I think you all know where to go to visit them. This motor, that bearing is totally shot. A little story behind that. I bought the Dewalt saw for 20 pounds because it's broken. And you know, good old YouTube. I had a quick look on YouTube and it seemed to say that it's gonna be the bearing. The bearing's about eight quid. And it was the bearing, so I'm gonna replace that. Let's get it out, brand new one, unboxing again. But this is fresh production run. So you get the side pads in there, which don't look like the traditional side pads because they're flat as in traditional now, the modern side pads. Uh, manual, etc. won't go through everything. You get a charger. Let's just get straight to the wheel. I'm gonna pull that back out. And you can actually lift it out with one hand. And there you have it, a brand new V10F. Let's pull all that away. Cover over the charge port. Oh, peel that off. It boots up and there you have it. I think, still think, just like the 9 bot, they're onto something with this design. And it's basically good to go. Just like that, there's no suspension set up, nothing like that at all. And you've got a commuting wheel put these bad boys the biggest concern is putting these bad boys on properly that's that one there we go right let's just put this charger in that back in the box jack in the box put that in there oh one thing that has changed which i hadn't realized is there's grit tape on the foot plates so that's changed it used to be rubber inserts so that's going to be even better and uh, what i'm going to do now it's basically ready to go you can connect with the app as you would have seen in the first review but what i'm going to do is i'm just going to go out and ride it i think it might be limited top speed so i'm going to open that threshold to maximum and then travel on and just report back what is it like jumping from things i'm currently riding the v13 jumping from a v13 one of the fastest wheels if not the fastest wheel on the market with suspension with huge batteries and the heaviest on the market and the most expensive on the market to what I would call an all-rounder, bit of a bruiser. We've talked about this before, it rides beautifully smooth because of that lovely tire on it. Um, I'll just see how it is. Let's get going. Oh, better get the motor. Take that with me and a helmet and some gloves. gonna slow it down a sec just bring it down because of the wind noise no idea if you can hear me still but this is just it's incredible for the price point it's just absolutely brilliant you just cannot recommend it enough really just the amount of power and you'll see the previous videos i've done before of course in those videos oh hold on blooming road clothes look everywhere can i get up here without damaging it he says Oh, I don't want to damage it. Not on the first, not on the first ride. Not on the first ride. Wow, there's all leaves all over this road. That has been closed for a while. Right, let me keep the, the, the riding speed down just so you can hear me. I'm assuming you can hear me. Let me just check. Test, test, test. 
Yeah, you can hear me. So, I have put on weight since that video, shall we say, just a, just a tad, probably about two stone heavier. It's a measurement we use in the UK, don't know why. But anyway, I'm that much heavier, approximately. This motor carries me no issue at all, and I've been absolutely hammering it. And as you saw, the slider goes up to 40 kilometers an hour, which is plenty, um, depending on whether you're going racing or not. Maybe it isn't against these top wheels, but like the V13 at 4K, this one, just over a grand, it's a grand basically, plus tax. So it's just priced real nicely at time of filming this, obviously. Um, but anyway, I want to crack on now, push this a little bit more and get to Mitch and drop this off because this isn't actually that light, it turns out. And I can't bring a bag because I've got the Speedy Feet logo on my back and everyone wants to see that, don't they? So can't bring a bag, I have to carry everything. So it begs the question, who is this wheel for? And I was thinking this, you have a mixture of friends, don't you? You usually have different friendship groups. You can have a very fast wheel or you can have a very slow wheel and you can have something that's in the middle. It's far from bland. It's a 2000 watt motor. It's got plenty of range for the average commute. It's got plenty of power for the average commute. And actually, it looks pretty stylish. You can actually pick it up and put it in a boot or put it under your desk. You can do pretty much everything as an all-rounder with it. So you're not gonna find it's uh, hurting your pocket either in terms of the actual price point of this. So for what it gives, bang for buck, it's good. Is it the fastest? No. Has it got longest range? No. Is it the heaviest? No. Is it the most expensive? No. It doesn't have loads of those things, features. Expense isn't a feature. But this, quite a bit cheaper than your top end models. And of course it doesn't offer some of those things, so it hasn't got suspension. Do you need it with the speed and the style of riding that this is designed for in today's marketplace? You don't at all. That tire is still, just as I remember it, it's lovely to ride, it's just a beautiful ride. Uh, you've got the trolley handle. It's just set up really for a commuting tool at a really reasonable price. Now, for those entering into the market who haven't bought a wheel and really want to, but see that all the modern wheels are like three grand, four grand, it's like, just start on something like this, or even the V8F, or even the V5F, depending on your size, weight, etc. Might, most grown men, for example, V8F, V10F, they're around about the same price point. So this is a economy wheel in today's standards, which is crazy things have elevated in terms of performance but price has gone with it it's not like you for a grand you're getting all the things that the top feature wheels have now and then you spend four grand to have all that you know that's kind of where we're at in this marketplace so if you're looking to get in but just 
can't even, you're dreaming of it, but just can't do it because there's no way you can afford it. You can get in with a V10F. If you've got this huge machine that you've went into, it's the first wheel you bought, you say you bought a V13 straight off, and you think this is just so big and heavy and it's just etc. and you haven't experienced the smaller wheels, try this or VF, something like that, you know, along those lines, basically. Um, so yeah, I would suggest mix it up a little bit. So for your beginners coming in, it's not like it's a super slow wheel that you're gonna grow out of. It's just really good. It's something you're always gonna throw in the boot. And some of the comments from my previous video about the nine pot, nine pot, nine bot, one E plus, was that they still carry it with them. It's in their car. People are still using those wheels because it's just so convenient. They've got other bigger wheels that rather than being stuck to 12, 13 miles an hour, they can go 40 miles an hour, for example, because they're crazy, then yes, they can ride those when they want to go out on a blast. But for their every day, it's ones like this, really, the ones you don't see flashy and showy across the social media channels. These are just the run of the mill type of constant work dogs that just keep going and going and going. So new to market, definitely look at this. Um, it's going to be same, around the same price point as VF anyway. Those two wheels, very similar in price. You just get a little bit more with this and for a little bit more money. Um, but yeah, I, that's kind of where you're at. And if you want to climb down from one of the big ones and have something a bit more convenient, though, I've, we've known customers who want to go on holiday. They're, they're traveling, they've got their caravan full up or whatever, or their car boot full, and they just can't fit one of the massive wheels in. It's like, what have you got that's going to be able to shove behind a seat somewhere or in a gap? It's this sort of thing, and they still want to have that enjoyment of riding the EUC along the promenade and all this sort of thing. Um, definitely look at that. A on it again. Yeah, just spot on, exactly like it was all those years ago. I'm so used to going a lot faster, but this is fast enough, fast enough to warrant now wearing a helmet. If you come off, I was looking at the road thinking, you know, at its peak, if I come off now without this armour on and the helmet on, yeah, you're going to potentially cause yourself quite a serious injury. So more like to get this shoved in my face at high speed um but yeah so that's kind of my two cents worth four years on there's a reason this is still made and it's still in production so check it out if you've sort of overlooked it never even heard of it because you're so new to the game you haven't even seen those reviews i'll link them below in the description um, and possibly up here or wherever it's going to be um back to the originals You've got all the unboxing, all the stats, everything, the range test, all that sort of business. I'll go through that again. It was just to revisit it, really, because we've got fresh delivery. Thought, Why not? Why not try it again? Mike suggested it. I was like, give it a go. So, yeah, there you go. Let's get this. Uh, we're here. So let's get it into the shop. Oh, and I'm carrying camera equipment, helmet, the motor, and look what I can do. I can go up the stairs. What a novel idea. Oh, look, another flight of stairs. I can also do that. Hmm. Place that there for Andrew to have a look at. 